Okay, the next type of factoring, which is factoring by grouping, will actually be used in this section and it's super helpful in the next section, which is probably the hardest type of factoring. So um, try to get it down good now and it makes the next type a lot easier, okay? So when you factor by grouping, there's a couple of strategies that I give. So number one, um, it's used when there are four terms. So notice all these examples, we've had two terms before, but not four. Um, you're going to look at the first two terms together, and then you're gonna look at the last two terms together. Okay, so I kinda, that's the grouping part, all right? And then what you do is you common factor each of those separately. Once you get that common factor, then it's technically called common factoring again, but I use my own words that you'll see, okay? So let's look at example one. So we're gonna kind of ignore this part, and we're just gonna look at 12a cubed minus 9a squared. So I wanna look at what do they have in common? So remember, what can we divide 12 and nine by, which is three, you're gonna write it on the outside, and then we want the smallest exponent. So common factoring was from two sections ago. Now, when you find that common factor, you can either mentally divide or I write it down so I know like, oh, what am I doing? Three divided by 12, 12 divided by three really. Take out two a's, nine divided by three, and take out two a's, okay? And so look, those four a and three have nothing in common, so I probably did that correct. Now, we're gonna ignore this part, and now we're gonna focus on this last two terms. So we say, okay, well, what do four a minus three have in common? And you're like, nothing, we did this wrong. If they don't have anything in common, you can always take out a one, okay? We're gonna take out a positive one, so you still wanna write that though. Don't think that one is imaginary because it's not. So if you divide by one, you still get four a. Divide by one, we still get negative three. And what you should notice, and I don't have it up in my notes, oh yeah, I do, is that these factors should match, and they do. We didn't force them, it mathematically worked out that way. So if they do match, then you know you did this correctly. Now, we're not done though. So that's where this says, okay, well, common factor one last time. Now, technically, all of these are being multiplied, so that's all one term. And all of these are being multiplied, so that's all one term. So you need to take out what they have in common, which is always going to be that parenthesis because they're the same. So if we take out that parenthesis, then that's gone and that's gone, and you write what's left. So I've got 3a squared and that plus one. That's why I said that one isn't imaginary, you need to write it. So what I will say is the outside numbers go together and the inside numbers go together. Those are like my words. Okay, and that's factored. If we would multiply this back out, we would get what we started with. All right, let's try it again. So let's look at the first two terms. They both divide by five and they both have an X. So if I divide by five and take that X out, divide by five and take that X out, remember you still need a placeholder. There should always be two things since we started with two terms. Then I look at these and please make sure that that negative is included with the 56. And we can kind of cheat. Since I know I want that to be a seven, I know I need to divide by a negative number, so I get seven. And if you don't know what they have in common, you can say, well, what is 56 divided by seven? And that tells you what you need to take out. So they both divide by eight, negative eight. So negative eight, negative eight. Uh, negative 56 divided by negative 8 is 7, the y stays, 8 divided by negative 8 is negative 1. So that's what I mean, like don't force it and just write, write like, oh, that'll be what's in the parentheses, because this is where you can catch your signs and your exponents and things like that. So the parentheses match, we did it right, so my parentheses go together, and these outside numbers are going to go together.